When you first lay out your budget, it seems so simple. You have these nice, tidy numbers telling you what you'll spend in a normal month. But after you've been budgeting for a while, you realize there's no such thing as a normal month. Some months, you find yourself spending way less than you thought on fun money. And then other times, you're spending more on fun than a, I don't know, a fun investor? That's why we recommend having a flexible budget, one that can change as your priorities change. We think it's so important that we put it right in our four rules of budgeting. You make those changes by moving money around. So if an old friend pops into town unexpectedly and wants to visit your old hangout, before you go out that night, you just scoot some money from clothing to dining out. And if your electric bill winds up being a bit more than you thought, you can pull some bucks from your fun money budget to cover it. That's good budgeting, flexible and priority driven. But it does mean your budget is going through a lot of changes. One of our primary goals with YNAB is to give you total control of your money. And one of the ways we do that is by giving you a crystal clear picture of your finances. But that can be pretty tricky when things are constantly changing. For instance, have you noticed the nine changes that have happened at my desk since the beginning of this video? If not, don't worry, I'm sure somebody in the comments has. When you're constantly making little tweaks, it can be tricky to keep track of them all. And that can leave you with a situation where you're not quite sure how you got here. That's why we've added Money Moves to YNAB, a tool that helps you track money as it moves around your budget. In this video, I'm gonna explain how Money Moves works and how it can help you. YNAB has always done a great job of tracking spending. If you click the number in the activity column of a category, you can see exactly where all the money spent in that category has gone. It's like each of your dollars has a little GPS tracker telling you exactly where it's gone once it's left your budget. But dollars that moved around inside your budget were a different story. If I moved $10 from my wife's coffee category into my board games category, there was no actual record of that happening, meaning I could launder fun money. Funny laundry. There's nothing funny about it. Money Moves makes sure that little GPS tracker stays clipped onto each one of those dollars so that you can see exactly when and where money has come and gone. If you want a bird's eye view, Recent Moves allows you to see all the times money has moved around in your budget in the last 34 days. So if you're trying to remember why you don't have as much in dining out, you can now see that you moved some of that money over into home repairs two weeks ago when you needed to fix the fridge. If you wanna zoom in on a single category's movement, you can click the icon next to the budgeted number and see three months of money moves. So how can money moves help you? First, it can clarify quick budgeting. Quick budget is great for convenience, but it also makes it easy to budget an entire paycheck without fully understanding how it was divvied up. Clicking recent moves allows you to see exactly how that money was distributed by category. Second, it can help you find trouble spots. Are you constantly moving money into groceries? Well, then you either need to make some conscious decisions about cutting back your grocery spending or just budget more money into that category each month. Has your vacation category become your personal punching bag whenever you overspend? Well, ask yourself why. Maybe your current goal isn't really realistic given your current income and needs, or maybe it just isn't as big a priority as you thought. Money Moves gives you the information you need to spot those snags in your budget so that you can make a plan that better suits your situation. And finally, Money Moves can provide accountability. If you have a partner who also actively uses YNAB, then odds are you've had a hiccup or two. Maybe you go to buy new tennis shoes only to find that your clothing category isn't as bountiful as it was yesterday because, oh, because your partner pulled some money from there to buy a wedding gift. Of course. Money Moves lets you see exactly what happened, allowing you to understand and also potentially learn something about your partner's priorities. If you do a regular budget meeting or date, talk about a hot date, recent moves can be a great springboard for discussing your individual and shared priorities, as well as reevaluating your financial strategy. And if you're the primary budgeter in your family, money moves can provide some much needed accountability for you. Speaking from experience, it's really easy to sneak 10 bucks here and there when you, you know, have your hands on the wheel. But Money Moves gives our partners the ability to easily keep our inner, I don't know, Al Capones in check. Such a budget gangster. It's also a great tool if you've got a young adult who's trying to learn how to budget. Rolling with overspending is an essential money management skill. And Recent Moves can be a great springboard for talking about how to handle overspending, how to handle overspending in light of our priorities. And that's actually a good segue into my last point. You'll notice that none of these uses included the word guilt trip. We've been trying to fight the notion that budgets are just guilt machines for years. The goal here 
isn't to prompt guilt. It's to give you the information you need to coordinate with your partner, keep your budget lined up with reality, and give you optimum clarity. Change is a part of life. That doesn't mean it should be hard to keep track of. Like, how many things have changed at my desk since I last pointed out things were changing? Probably nothing. Probably.